Hey, hey, math people, happy new year. So mathematicians have been starting off this new year on a very nice note. You guys know that phrase, new year, new me? Well, the largest prime number known to man uh, just took that phrase pretty seriously. Largest prime number as of this month, just a few days ago, is now two to the power of 77,232,917, but then minus one at the end. However, that's actually not the point of this video. The point of this video actually has to do with today's date. If you use the inferior month, day, year calendar system, uh, today is 1618, uh, otherwise known as unofficial because nobody really officially uh, views today as this day, but I, I do. I think it's really cool. A phi, phi day, not, not Friday, but phi day, the Greek letter phi, the uh, golden ratio. So if you have been living under a metaphoric math rock, uh, phi is a um, it's a ratio. It's a number 1.618 that is marvelous and shows up in a lot of intriguing ways both geometrically uh, and in, in algebra. Phi is an irrational number that does trail on forever, but 1.618 is a decent approximation for it. Okay, so I actually want to start with a, um, a, a rectangle, a geometric model, and, and work off this to uh, quickly derive it, actually. Uh, and on the way, show a lot of cool phi facts. Um, not five facts, but phi facts. Um, there might be five phi facts, but probably more phi facts than five facts. You get what I'm getting at there? No? Yes? Crazy diagram. I know it's a rectangle. Not a square, not a rhombus, although could it be a rhombus? Couldn't be a rhombus. A rectangle. Now with one of these things we can actually um, create some sort of square within it. So imagine you had a rectangle and you created some sort of square within it and you have side length A and A. Um, if you have this additional length B uh, such that this ratio can be established, uh, so the ratio would be uh, this longer length to this width, um, if that can be set equal to A over b, you actually have uh, the golden ratio, 1.618 phi itself. So, you know, lovely rectangle, right? So beautiful. A lot of people are pretty pretentious and say that this is the most elegant and pleasing to the eye rectangle there could be, um, but that's just hokey pokey. It's just, it's it's a rectangle, man. Just, just deal with it. It's not that cool. Um, the cool stuff is about to come right now. So I'm going to erase this stuff. I will keep the algebra and let's derive phi. All right, rectangle is gone. Uh, I do want to continue to look at that ratio that we established, but now for the sake of simplicity, I want to actually set b equal to 1. I want to say, okay, b is actually uh, just 1. Uh, when you do this, this b down in this denominator becomes 1. Anything over 1 is simply itself. And then on the left side here, this b, uh, I just I swapped it out for a 1, that's all. Uh, now we have a plus 1 over a. This is equal to a, uh, which is also equal to phi. So a is just phi when you set b equal to 1. Pretty straightforward. Um, I'm actually going to replace these a's with phi's because I know a is equal to phi. Uh, and all of a sudden, I now get this, this expression, phi plus 1 uh, over phi is equal to phi. Interesting. How about I multiply both sides by this denominator phi? And I'll actually get phi squared is equal to phi plus 1. Hmm. We just showed that phi squared is equal to phi plus one. As a quick side note, for fun at your own leisure, I love it when math textbooks do this, uh, you can actually prove that one over phi, one divided by phi, is equal to phi minus one. A quick recap, phi times phi is phi plus one, not to be confused with phi times five, which is 25, and one over phi, one divided by phi, is phi minus one, not to be confused with one over five, which is just 0.2, Please don't get too fried on phi on phi day for the sake of phi, please, come on. Unless it's a Friday, in which case, why are you doing phi math on a Friday in the first place? Don't do that. You know, you've been doing a really good job. High five. What? All right, enough nonsense and back to the serious math. Recall that I had phi squared is equal to phi plus one. So this is a quadratic equation and we know many different ways to solve quadratic equations. Uh, I chose the quadratic formula because that'll get me the precise um, precise way of writing phi. So uh, set it equal to zero, gather up your coefficients and plug it into the quadratic formula and bam, you get one plus the square root of five. Yes, the number five, um, all over two. This guy right here is phi, the golden ratio. All right, guys, that is all I have. Happy Phi Day. Uh, I'm going to continue to math on. I hope you do the same. I'll see you in the next video.